Hello investors, my name is Dayhan and welcome back to your number one place for all your investing needs. In today's video, we're going to be looking at three penny stocks to buy right now in the month of April 2021. Now these are stocks that you're going to have to research and see if they fit your criteria. So one of these stocks is actually, you know, if we look here, um, you know, since the end of 2020, it's up actually about 93% and at the highs, this stock was up over 234%. And this is going to be one of our picks. It's actually going to be our number one pick at the number one spot, CIDM. So if you don't want to miss out on gains like this, sit back, relax, and enjoy the rest of this video and smash that like button for me. So like we said, the number one penny stock on the list is going to be Synodin Corp. So since last March, shares of CIDM stock have rallied by quite a bit. Before we get into why this tech penny stock is moving so much, let's first look at what the company does. So Synodim is an entertainment company that distributes movies, television, and short form content. Now on March 25th, the company announced plans to develop NFTs using its large in, uh, inventory of content. Now, given our extensive file library, the deep uh, connection to fandom and collectibles and CIDM stock strong brand partnership and technology capabilities, I have directed our product team to develop new NFT products to enhance the user experience of our loyal audience. This is what the CEO of Synodim said, Chris McGurk. Now, this announcement caused shares of CIDM shares to shoot up to over $2 per share back when the information was released. However, since then, CIDM stock has pulled back to its you know, April 14th level of $1.24 right now. So many investors believe that this is nowhere near the end of the road for Synodim. First of all, the company has yet to release its planned NFT. For this reason, there could be you know, a lot of opportunities in the upcoming months. Right now, the NFT hype has kind of died down a little bit compared to where it was about you know two or three weeks ago, but that could come back in the future. Now, the company recently released um, you know exciting anal analytical uh, information regarding its streaming operations on April 14th. Synodim announced record subscription and ad-supported user growth milestone. Its total streaming viewers went up to 23.8 million viewers, representing a 208% increase year over year, which is massive. Now, additionally, its uh, total subscriber count surpassed 640,000. <laughs> they got us beat, right? We only got 23,000 on my channel. So, to 640,000 subscribers, uh, you know, uh, which is a 574% increase year over year. Because of this, some investors view CIDM as one of the best penny stocks to watch right now. All in all, if you're looking for a multifaceted company with uh, encouraging trajectory, some of them could be worth keeping an eye on. So, let's take a look at this one, guys. So CIDM is the ticker symbol. Uh, today at the high, it was actually trading at around $1.47 after this news. And then obviously pulled back down throughout the rest of the day. But it was still up about 85 almost 9% to close the day. Ticker symbol is going to be CIDM, like we said. And it was up about, you know, $0.10 cents today. Currently trading at $1.24. If we look at the one-year chart, this stock was down here, you know, trading at around $0.50 cents per share for the, you know, end of 2020. Picked up a little bit of volume right here. Continued to trend higher and higher. Hitting highs of about $2.33 here um, you know, in March and February. So you know we hit it multiple times. We pulled back down once again when the market pulled back to about a dollar. You know, 92 cents actually. Great buying opportunity. 100% upside actually from there. If you would have bought that dip. And then volume, we can see volume is definitely high right here at the end of uh, March. We see it here trading 62 million, 170 million, and then 200 million shares. This is when all the NFT hype was going on. Now you can see volume has died down a little bit. We're only trading at around you know 10 million shares right now, but we still see a huge potential with CIDM for the future, especially with the whole NFT world going on and all the crypto crazing going on right now. Like we uh, we had Coinbase IPO on Tuesday or no Wednesday. We had uh, Coinbase on Tuesday. We had you know Bitcoin hitting all time highs, Ethereum hitting all time highs, Dogecoin is hitting all time highs. All these cryptocurrencies are hitting all time highs. The NFT world is booming and it's going to continue to boom for the future. So CIDM is definitely one I would add to my radar and I'm going to give this one a price target of $3 per share. I think it could easily get to that by the end of 2021, especially if things continue to go the way they are right now, which gives it an upside of about 170% or higher um, you know, for the next year or so. So definitely want to add to your list and see if it's worth the risk versus reward for yourself. Do your own research on the stock. Now, as always, guys, I appreciate all the support on the channel. So go ahead and smash that like button for me. Let's aim for 50 plus likes in the first 24 hours of this video being up. Subscribe to the channel. Turn on that bell notification so you get notified every time we make a new video. We make a video every single day. Leave a comment below. What penny stocks are you watching right now? Are any of these penny stocks on your watch list? And as always, if you want to sign up for Webo and get your two free stocks valued up to $1,800, there's going to be a link in the description for that. Now, let's get into the rest of this countdown, guys. 
Our number two tech penny stock for April is going to be in Pixin. So this one right now, this tech penny stock on this list has a direct correlation to cryptocurrency, which is a hot topic, like we said in the previous clip. Now, in Pixon, it specializes in what is called indoor intelligence. This includes capturing and detecting cell cellular Wi-Fi and Bluetooth data to produce complex data used in the increasing revenue, decreasing costs, and enhancing safety. Now, its indoor intelligence platform allows users to increase revenue, decrease costs, and enhance safety for actionable intelligence purposes. So on April 14th, Pixon announced that it has uh, converted a note receivable from Cysorex Inc. for $9 million into shares of Cysorex common uh, stock valued at $18 million dollars. Now, simultaneously, Cicerex announced the closing of a reverse merger with TTIM Digital Assets and Technologies. Now, TTM is a you know data center that has a primary focus on mining Ethereum and other cryptocurrencies. TTM states that it, it is one of the largest publicly traded Ethereum miners on the U.S. market. This transaction will allow CSRX to acquire TTM's business and operations. Now, the CEO of Inpixan, uh, Nadar Ali, stated that the prevalence of Bitcoin, Ethereum, and other digital uh, currencies are and their values have risen substantially over the past several years and dramatically in the past six months, obviously. So, all, Ali wanted, wanted to state that the use of the Ethereum for non-fungible tokens, NFTs, development of apps, and peer-to-peer -peer financial transactions are becoming increasingly mainstream, and marquee financial institutions and other household name organizations are accepting digital currencies and also adding this asset class to their balance sheet. Now, you know, this situation caused INPX stock to increase by over 9% by the end of the day on April 14th. This could be the momentum that INPX stock needs to reach new heights in the up upcoming months. Now, however, after the news broke, INPX showed a volume of over 53 million compared to its average volume of, you know, 10 million a day. Now, the company currently hold, does not hold, have plans to enter the crypto mining industry itself. However, it is uh, looking forward to this big opportunity that could maximize value for its shareholders while dipping its toes into the crypto space. So ticker symbol INPX, it was up about 6.4% today or about $0.07. Cents. Currently trading at $1.16. So we see with this one, you know, since January, the beginning of January, we went from a dollar all the way up here to highs of about almost $3. So $2.89. We see this huge, huge volume was picking up on that day. That was a big green candle. We had 103 million shares traded. The stock went from about $1.72 all the way to $2.89. So big increase. And obviously, whenever we see increases like this, the stock was way overbought, pulled back down to about $2.25 and then continued to go lower and lower. Pretty much back to its previous support level at around a dollar or a dollar ten cents, and then we've been consolidating there pretty much for the past month or so. We've been just going back and forth, try to break out through here, couldn't break out, pull back down. So we've just been going, you know, up and down, up and down, sideways. Uh, volume is a little bit lower right now. We're only trading around one to five million shares per day compared to the you know ten twenty million plus on some of the other days that we had in the past. So with this one. We're going to be hoping to stay around this $1 support. If it breaks down and continues to go lower, uh, it's not going to be a good sign because it's going to be like a falling knife, and we definitely don't want to catch that knife, right? Now, the, on the other side, we have a resistance level around this $0.150 cents area. If it can pass the 150 area, then we have another one at about 175 and then obviously the $2 area. So if we can get past those few resistance areas that we see right there, then we can continue to build on higher and higher. So we're going to have to see how this uh, you know news affects it and how all the shares that they're invested in um, is going to affect the company as well. And obviously with the whole crypto space and the NFT world and how that will have a reflection on INPX for the future as well. With this one, we're going to give this one a price target of about $2.25, which gives it about 100% upside for 2021. I think we could you know, easily do that in the next uh, you know, few months. So definitely want to keep on your radar and see how this uh, trend is going to break out. If it's going to go higher, lower, if we're going to continue to trade sideways for a little bit longer. So INPX is the number two penny stock on this list. And last but not least, we have Vislink Technologies, Inc., ticker symbol VISL. So this one right here, Vislink de designs, develops, and delivers wireless communication solutions. Now, while the last month hasn't been the best for Visalink, there are some catalysts that could change that. Now, first of all, the company just released its financial results for 2020. Only a few weeks ago in that report, its revenue fell year over year. However, it managed to decrease its net loss, uh, losses substantially. Now, additionally, it improved its quarterly revenue for the first time in several quarters. The CEO of Visalink, Carlton Miller, stated on fourth quarter revenues were over 40% higher than the third quarter, rebounding to almost $7 million, which represented the strongest quarter of the year. 
Now, in addition to this, uh, on April 8th, Vizlink received a multi-million dollar contract for onboard and trackside RF cameras, as well as remote uh, production systems. These products will be provided to the you know NEP group for its uh, Extreme E Racing Series. VIS stock opened high on the day of the announcement, but shortly after the hype subsided, so it is possible VIS sell stock could see more bullish sentiment as it continues to work on improving its business. Moreover, it's also worth noting that it uh, posted the strongest quarter of the year simultaneously as uh, several states reopened. Now, because the communications industry is dependent on the demand for common related products, the pandemic has had a large effect on its business, obviously. The old saying of correlation implies causation is that play here remains to be seen. Regardless, VISL stock could be worth watching. So let's take a look at the chart, guys. VISL today actually at the high was hitting at around 263, pulled back down all the way to trade around negative 2% for a day, which is not a good thing, but that's okay because we're looking at it for the you know, future. Um, Short-term bearish, but mid-term and long-term, the analysts have this one on bullish, which is a good sign. We see here, uh, you know, pretty much throughout the last three or four months of the year in 2020, it traded here sideways at around $1.20 or so. And then as we, you know, entered 2021, we started to, you know, trend on higher and higher and higher, hitting highs of over $5 per share. So from a dollar twenty to five dollars that's about a four hundred percent gain right there just in a matter of uh you know a month and a half two months right there massive gains for anybody that got in on that you know buying opportunity right there sometimes when you see a stock trade out like that it could break out one way or the other it could have went down but it did break out through the upside which is a positive sign for anybody that invested obviously the stock started to pull back down and it's still you know sitting at actually a lot higher than it was at the end of 2020 about a hundred percent higher than it was at the end of 2020 um, you know, it was here at a support level of three dollars, but now it seems like it broke through and it went, you know, down a little bit further to the, you know, next uh, support level. Hopefully, it bounces off this uh, 250, 230 area, and then we can, you know, try to start try to trend on back higher past the four dollar range. Uh, if we can get past the four dollar, we go to about four and a half dollars, and then the five dollar resistance we have. Obviously, up here, the you know, 52 week high that it had around nine dollars. That's a Pretty big jump right there that I had it on 6-4-2020, but volume has actually been, you know, huge in 2021 so far. So we're trading like 5 million shares plus every single day almost. Uh, with this one, I can give it a price target of around, you know, $4.50, possibly $5, which is a potential 100% upside with this one as well. So VISL could be a one to watch on your watch list. Uh, but on this video, the number one pick that was on this list is obviously the number one pick in my opinion as well. And then the second one was our second pick, and the third is our third. So the order we talked about these stocks is actually the order that I'm putting them in as you know best to worst in my opinion. Obviously, that is you know all my opinion. As always, I'm not a financial advisor. This is all for educational purposes. These are just three tech penny stocks right now that could potentially be worth buying in April 2021. It's up to you know the investor to decide if it's worth the risk versus reward and do their own diligence. But so before investing into any stocks, especially penny stocks, speak to your financial advisor. Make sure you do your own due diligence if you guys enjoy this type of content obviously smash that like button for me subscribe to the channel turn on that bell notification so you get notified every time we make a new video leave a comment below what penny stocks are you buying are any of these tech penny stocks on your watch list or not what do you think about all the crypto hype going on right now and the nft world as well if you guys want to sign up for webo and get your two free stocks valued up to eighteen hundred dollars links are going to be in the description of that as well and as always guys i hope you guys enjoyed it and i hope to see you guys in the next one goodbye